Good morning, you lovely people. It's happening. It is about 11.30 here. I'm en route to my homie's studio, aka his house, to record a podcast with my old buddy, Just Jordan. He, me and Jordan go way back, actually. This is gonna be a good time. I haven't seen him since Tony's wedding. We used to work together at World Health, like 11, 12 years ago now, whatever it was at this point in time. Fun story, he's actually 1% owner of Free Fitness. So I am one of the co-owners at 33%. So is Tony, so is Ty, and Jordan is the 1%. He was one of the original founders of Free Fitness. So super stoked to catch up with Jordan. He's actually releasing a, I'll have to clarify this, whether it's hip hop or rap album pretty shortly here that he's been working on for a couple years. And yeah, this is gonna be a good time catching up with my homie. And this is actually one of the first podcasts I've ever done in person. So I'm super stoked just to kind of see how the conversation flows. I've always done any guested podcasts via Zoom and there's a little bit of a delay that happens as you're talking on Zoom, as I'm sure all of you know, post pandemic. But yeah, I'm super stoked just to see how the conversation flows, what we talk about. I have no idea what the intention of today's conversation is, but either way, super stoked for it. Lastly, I won't uh, drive distracted anymore. Plus I'm on a very quiet road, trust me. Um, but I just wanna say how damn grateful I am right now for it being day 21. It's freaking gorgeous outside. It's not the nicest of views that I just showed you of Edmonton's lovely industrial zone. But regardless, I'm feeling good. Thanks again for the support for whoever's watching these videos, commenting, liking, subscribing. You guys are gems and uh, yeah, just super grateful to be three weeks sober today. Big day. Phenomenal tune. In, so I'm closing in on December 1st to be three years sober from alcohol. Oh, so wow. within that time frame, Holy. I got sober from alcohol, sober from weed, took care of my life in a lot of different areas, yeah. but I relapsed with weed 30, 40 times at least, if oh, not more. Because that's also something I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so for me, it was like, I kept on doing it, and I kept on, there was just tons and tons of shame around it, and especially being in the position that I'm in with my life coaching, a lot of it, a lot of my clientele is geared towards like, Early sobriety, sober curious, you know, people who are using substance and or behaviors that they don't really feel good about using and they're reaching out to me for help. And I have a lot of the tools to help people yeah. you know, get through addiction and work through addiction and kind of where to direct them depending on what it is that's prompting their addiction. Word. Knowing behind closed doors, smoking weed every night. And that's actually largely what prompted me to get sober in the first place when I got sober three years ago. That was a hell of a conversation. It is three o'clock. We just spoke for three hours straight. That was arguably the best podcast I've ever been a part of. I think it definitely has to do with the work that I've been putting into myself these last three weeks and last eight months and just collectively over the last 15 years. But that was such a good conversation. It was so good to catch up with Jay. Uh, he's got some really cool things going on with his album that's dropping in the next month here. I'm excited. You guys should listen to the podcast. It's three hours, but I think yeah, I don't know. I resonate with real and that was one of the most real conversations I've had in quite some time. <clears throat> As you can tell my voice, it's the longest conversation I've had in quite some time, but that was such a great podcast to be a part of and I am going to spend some time outside here while it's not dark and take loose to the river valley, but probably going to be a super short vlog today just because of the fact that I was there for three hours, but yeah, there's going to be some very, very helpful and powerful takeaways from that podcast. Oh, hello. <laughs> Were you waiting for me? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Luz. Hi, big girl. Hi. Hopefully you can hear this because it is hella windy, but I was hoping to get down in the river valley. The time I got home, it was kind of rush hour and I don't really want to deal with rush hour right now to be blatantly honest on my day off. And one of the many downsides of daylight savings is when you're vlogging, you kind of need daylight when you're outside. So decided to just go for a nice long walk in the neighborhood. Gonna probably just chill in this field for a little bit. But one of my takeaways from today's conversation, and I'm just gonna leave you with a little bit of wisdom today, was it's much easier to appreciate the hard work of others when you're in alignment with yourself. And when you're making actions that are in alignment with who you wanna be, it's much easier to appreciate each and every person around you who may or may not be succeeding at a higher level than yourself. So hopefully that resonates with you to some degree here. I'm just gonna chill with this dog here for a bit. And because my actions are in alignment with who I wanna be, I am going to appreciate the fact that I can take a night off and just chill out 
and hang out with my puffer. So we're gonna do that. What up? What's going on, folks? It's five o'clock. Is it ironic that I'm wearing a weed shirt that I got one of the last times I bought weed? I don't know. It's nice and large and comfortable though. So it's a nice cozy shirt for a night off that I'm gonna take. But part of what made the conversation so good today was as much as I've known Jordan for over a decade now, it was one of the first times that I was able to truly authentically be myself in the conversation. Even though I've known him for over a decade, I was using for pretty much the entire time. So as much as we always got along and connected, it was really good to connect on a sober level and talk about some pretty deep topics, truthfully. I've talked maybe a little bit on certain podcasts and my own podcast, I don't even know, about my disordered eating that I've dealt with in the past. I'm gonna elaborate a little bit more on that in the days to come since these daily vlogs are not gonna be stopping anytime soon. So, anywho. I deserve a night off. I don't need a night off. I actually truthfully I'm like pretty wired and just jacked up off Mountain Dew. Good conversation. But yeah, I'm gonna take a night off because I deserve a night off. And as always, thank you very much for supporting me in any way, shape, or form. Appreciate you, and I'll see you for day 22 tomorrow.